coasting around looking for a sweet little spot to call home for the night. Hold them up. What you got there, Bubba? Nice black. Absolute sleigh fest. You. Uh, what is up, YouTube? It's Connor Islands back at it with another adventure. It's currently 5 a.m. and we're in the Florida Keys. On today's adventure, we're going out of Key West. We're gonna go to the place called the Marquesas and hopefully get some nice grouper for you guys along with some hogfish and some other goodies. But yeah, guys, it's 5 a.m. It's really early out here. I got the SS Minnow out here. I got the portable grill. We got a bunch of coolers, a bunch of supplies, and uh, we're going to head out for a little meat mission. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be sick. I got my buddies with me. Let's do it. You. This is looking pretty, pretty good. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's looking pretty good. We got some chum. Joey! Yo, <laughs> Yo what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you can't put your wetsuit on or what? But yeah, guys, we're gonna shoot up. They're dropping some jigs. What'd you say, Lash? See if I catch me shoot it. What is that, dude? There's a bunch of fish on top. Cast it. We're gonna shoot up and get in. You! Alright y'all, we're back and uh, just dropped in here on the first little spot. Water visibility was looking pretty good this day and yeah, just breathing up here with my buddy, getting ready to do our first drop. Alright, so we've been breathing up here for quite a while now and I'm gonna go down on my first drop but I don't know if you guys can notice but if you look at the top of my gun my shafts kind of like tilted up I don't know maybe in the boat or whatnot it came off my track my enclosed track and it's like leaned up I fixed that here in a minute but just funny I didn't notice that for so long so yeah just scanning the bottom here looking around see anything I don't see too much here on this drop and uh, just stick around look around first drop all right so next drop coming down here we're a little bit shallower i had noticed a little bit of dust on the ground stirred up maybe something spooked and uh yeah it was a nice little group i don't know if you can see it on the right of my screen, comes in, line up, place a nice shot on him, sniped him. Yeah, that was a nice red grouper. If you guys are not familiar with them, really good tasting fish and uh, fun to shoot, but they can be really, really dumb. So, of course, right after I shoot that red grouper, nice hammerhead comes in, just coming in to check me out. Make sure I keep the tip of my gun on him. All right, so here's my buddy Joey. I'm gonna let him do his thing. So what happened here was that shaft just had way too much pressure on it when that grouper came out the hole and uh, forced the shaft out of the body of the grouper. But he went back down and got him, so no worries on that fish. We had uh, seen a nice mutton go into this little head here, and he went down and uh, did some business. Yeah, he approaches this fish perfectly, goes down real slow, real mellow, real chill, finds out where the mutton's at, and... Uh, Lines up on him. 
places a nice shot. He starts swimming up, so I go over and just make sure there's another shot in him, just because it's a nicer mutton. And, uh, yeah, just place another shot. Baby, yeah. that's a good one. Hell yeah, good one, bro. That was a good red in there, too. Right? Yeah, so it's only like got water. What you got? A nice mutton? Yo, Joey. Oh, we got a nice muddy, nice red. Like All right, so he pushed out a little deeper once again, and I uh, dropped out on this nice mutton. And one thing I like to mention is I never like to drop right on top of a fish, but this guy left me kind of no choice. He can't, he didn't really scatter. He didn't really look spookish. I kind of dropped right on top of him off the start, and yeah, it worked out with this one. But yeah, I just usually don't like going straight down on a fish. I'll show you guys, and I'll get more in depth with that later on in this video. All right, guys, been diving for a little bit. Got a nice little box. This is the first spot. Plucked a few. <laughs> Got a nice little black, a nice mutton, reds, two reds, a nice line fish. So we're going to keep diving. We're just drifting along here, doing what we do best. You. <laughs> Pretty cool in here. Wish I would have started my GoPro a little earlier, but mutton came up in that water column, and I turned around, pressed click on the top of my GoPro, and just threw a shot at him. Pretty sweet, though, when this happens. It's really cool. Alright guys, we got a few mutton so far. A nice one I just plucked off. That's a stud, got a, dude. Got Look a at nice that little thing. clip. You guys will see that. Stone him. Got a nice headshot. Well, I didn't stone him, but got a nice headshot. Let's put him in the box and go get some more, guys. Alright guys, just shot this nice mutton. He's like 10 or 12 pounds. Solid one. About got a, 30 inches. Yeah, yeah, he's big. We got a bunch of other fish in the box though. Come check it out. Solid little dive so far. Oof. Oh, oh shit. Gotta get this thing open. Let's see what you got, Bo. Bunch of reds. Mutton. Oh, we got three muttons. I forgot three we got muttons. that. Third mutton. It's the biggest mutton so far. It's a nice one. Uh, and just to show you guys, this is a legal mutton right here. They have to be 18 inches right there to the fork. Or not to the fork, but to the end of the tail. This is a 20 incher. So this is like a little bit over legal. And then this is a slob right here, guys. Check him out. That's a nice one, dude. He's uh he's every bit of 29, 30 inches. 30 not 31 inches. Yeah, right there is 30. Yep, he's 30 30 and a half. Yeah, that's a nice fish, guys. That's a fatty dude. Let's try to get some more blacks. We got he doesn't one even black. fit in the screen. We can get two more blacks and a bunch of more snapper guys. So let's do it. Let's get back in the water. Go shoot some more. All right, guys, what do you got? A little cuda on the NOVN. Stop to hit this little spot here. Nice little cuda. I think I just got hit. You got hit? You got hit? You getting hit? Oh yeah, you are getting smoked. You're getting smoked. What are you gonna do with that cuda? Just throw him off. Throw him away. There he is. Get him. You got him still? I think so. Oh yeah, nice mangrove. Nice little mango. He'll keep. That's good Just for like that. Hell yeah. Alright guys, so it's been probably like three or so hours and uh, got a cuda on right here as you guys saw. Got a nice little mangrove on the valley here. the bait. And uh, I think we might, if the weather cooperates with us, we might stay on an island right here close by and do a little uh, catch and cook on the island, sleep there overnight and get back to it tomorrow morning. But we got a decent box right now. So uh, yeah, we're going to just keep going, keep diving, keep hitting spots. Stay with us, stay tuned. Let's do it. You.
All right, guys, so we stopped for lunch now. We're taking a little break. Chase is doing some fishing right now. We're in about 40 feet. We've been doing a lot of our diving today at around 40 to 30 feet. And uh, the visibility has been good, but look what we got cooking up here for lunch. Some fire, guys. Alex shot this lionfish and a little strawberry that Chase caught. Yes, so we're cooking that up along with some dogs. Open that up, Laser. Yes, sir. Got some dogs going. Got some lionfish and a little strawberry. And uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna cook that up and then uh, get back to diving. A little strawberry, yeah. Living All right, guys, Alex got a nice little red grouper, nice fire truck on the jig. Yes, sir. That's a dope catch. Me a oh yeah. Slippery guy over here. Oh, Laz loves the slippery guys. Some serious stuff right here. Heck yeah. We re tying up to get another slippery. Yeah, guys, the food's cooking up. It's looking great. It's actually looking fire, guys. Check this stuff out. So we're gonna eat this up, get some energy, and then we're gonna get back in the water, guys. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we kill a bunch more fish. Beautiful out here. Ew. How y'all boys like this? Yes, sir. Loving it. Yeah. All right, guys, so this red grouper was not a keeper. We're going to send him back. Beautiful fish, though. Good fighter. Send him back. He was 20 right on the dot, but we only keep, like, 22 and above. There's a lot bigger fish out here. Yeah, we'll keep fighting for him. You. All right, guys, we just got done with lunch, and uh, now it's time to hop back in the water. So we're going to hop back in, hopefully shoot some more fish. We got a few more fish till we limit out, so hopefully we can get that done, and then we'll be headed back in, guys. So let's do it. Ew. So we just wrapped up the diving. We shot a solid amount of fish. We'll show you when we get back to the ramp. But uh, yeah, guys, it was overall a good day of diving. Pretty pretty good day. We're gonna show you what we killed when we get back to the docks. We've got about an hour ride in, so. You. What are you saying, buddy? Pretty successful, if you ask me. Definitely successful. How's that leg feeling, bud? Feeling good, feeling like it's got a lot of fish on it. Yeah, that thing is full. We got a lot of fish. One leg you. Over here. All right, guys. So it's been a few hours since I last talked to you guys, and uh, we're actually searching for an island to sleep on, or maybe the sailboat that we just came across. It's pretty cool, it's sick. Just out here in the middle, right next to all these islands. We're just coasting around, looking for a sweet little spot to call home for the night. <laughs> you said what? It looks crusty, but you was a little crusty, but also cool. crusty crab, You would sleep on it though? Yeah, bro. Bunk up in there. I'm gonna tie myself no off the deck. Catch a button all night off back. Hand lining, boy. <laughs> hey, you got, you got all hammock night right from the back. Come on now. Dude, what? You guys are crazy. Screw counting sheep, counting muddy. What do you guys oh, think, bro? Temper. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Anyone home? Wow, this is crazy. Alright guys, so this is the home for tonight. It's actually a sweet little spot. We found this island off the side of uh, where we're headed tomorrow, the Marquesas. Just a little island here we picked up off the side. And uh, we're going home for the night. So we anchored up the boat, made sure everything's good. Set the anchor. Now it's time to cook some food. And enjoy the sunset. Here. We're gonna get some sleep tonight. We're gonna get to bed early. We got a job to do tomorrow. We gotta kill a lot of fish. So, uh, we're gonna go out early. Got the bag. Walking to the island now. Just the life. Setting up camp. This is gonna be a sweet little cook up and a sweet little campsite. What are you doing, bro? You preparing camp? Should I be in the cooler? Guys, check out this island, man. It's so sick. You guys let me know how you guys like these videos. I'm down to do them more often. I love these videos. This is basically what I love to do, and this is my passion. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Smash the thumbs up button if you guys enjoy it and want to see me do it more. So appreciate all the love and all the support. This stuff's awesome. This is literally my passion, like I just said. So uh, we're going to go out tomorrow, shoot some more fish, and uh, have a good time. Show you guys. You life though guys I love what I do we're gonna put some wood on the fire get it going get everything going and I'll be see you guys in a little bit oh yeah guys and I forgot to mention we got a tent so we're uh, chilling tonight you we got fire and we got camp that's what's up guys you 
finally got everything set up. They're doing a little bit of fishing over there. Just gotta keep the fire going, and then it's time to eat. Joey, bro, what do you got there? A little ribeye. A little day old ribeye. A day old ribeye. It's going on the grill, don't worry. Yeah. That'll feed us all with some fish. All right, guys, good bloody morning. We're out here. Whew, just spent the night. It is about six o'clock and uh, we're headed out for day two. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna get out there, we're gonna push out, we got like 10 mile ride. Whew. How was that sleep last night, Laz? A little rough. A little rough? A little rough for sure. Buddy, you looking tired. <laughs> nah, we're good though guys, it's beautiful out here. Look at that sunset, or sunrise. Oh, wow, wow. we're gonna get out there. You. Gotta go a little light today for the show. <laughs> All right, guys, hopping in on this spot. This is looking perfect. We just threw some uh, little sand balls in, and uh, we're gonna hop in. Hopefully, shoot some muttons, and some groupers. All right, so day two here. Get down to the bottom, spot a nice red grouper, and I didn't want to place the shot here just because we were selling some of these fish, and I did not want to put that shot right through his meat. So I kind of. Was patient here, waited for him, and took a shot right there. Got him in the side of the face. And then if you guys didn't notice that, what happened was that grouper came right out of that hole and right at towards my face, which could be very dangerous if that shaft were to hit me in the face and knock my mask off. So you just got to watch out for that. But overall, nice fish. Nice drop in about 40, 45 foot of water. Nice little red grouper. So right here what I'm doing is I'm braining the fish and it just makes sure the dispatch as quick as possible so they're not suffering or anything like that. Just knocks them right out of their misery. Just letting you guys know. Alright y'all, so I'm about to make a drop here on this little ledge line and I made a drop just before I make this drop and I had noticed two black groupers went in the back of this little hole, cave area. So how I play this out is I like to get behind the ledge and just work my way to the front of it like I'm doing here. And uh, as you guys see, that was a little black grouper that spooked in. I'm not going for him. I'm going for his daddy. But I'm using my light here, shining through in all the cracks and crevices, looking for the grouper. And there he is, swims right in the back of that hole. Place a shot on him and it sticks. Then I start swimming up. Alright, so on this next drop here, just dropping down, it's getting late in the day, I'm getting tired, but I spot a nice mangrove snapper, or school of mangrove snappers, take out the bigger one, place a shot, stone them, and that's a true stone shot right there, did not move. All right, so this is the last drop of the day for me here. I come down. There was a black grouper and a dog snapper in this hole. But I uh, saw the dog snapper first, and it was a beauty. So I decided to take a shot on him. He was way back up in there. So I didn't even, you know, try to grab him and take him out. But check this fish out. It's a really, really nice dog snapper. It's a stud. Probably 10 pounds. Camera does not do justice, but... Ew. All right, guys, so this is our bag from day two. Not a bad bag. We got our limit on black groupers. We got a few reds in the mix, a nice dog snapper. Absolute stud, 25 inch dog snapper. Nice mutton, nice mangrove. Yeah, guys, so not a bad second day. We're gonna wrap it up here, get back in. It's like 12 o'clock and uh, we're all pretty tired. So we're gonna wrap it up. I'll see you guys at the dock. You. All right guys, so we just made it back to the house and we laid all the fish out for a little kill shot. It's been a two day trip out in the Marquesas and check out what we got. We speared all these fish guys. Nice dog snapper, nice black, nice muttons, bunch of nice reds. Yeah guys, overall a successful trip with the homies. We're definitely gonna have to do this again. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was sick on the island, cooked up our dinner, little 24 hours out there on the water. 
So yeah, guys, let me know if you like this one down below in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I'm still getting used to this stuff, guys. I'm new to it, but uh, we'll be back soon here on the channel, so stay tuned, guys. You. Until then, I'm out.